Hello Gemini, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your messages from Spirit Reading and it will be for January 2021 for the sign of Gemini. So I hope you're well Gemini. Let's get straight into your reading and pull your message from Spirit Card. Okay, so this is a message of stand your ground. Standing your ground is an empowering, confidence-building action to take from time to time. Now is the moment when you need to stand your ground. You know you can do it, and you know that by doing so, you will be the victor. This is resoluteness, firmness, determination, perseverance, brings growth. Lovely energy. Okay, let's pull another card. What do we have for Gemini, please? Angel Spirits Guides. And remember, Gemini, these messages, they can be something big or small, something specific, can be just advice. So bear that in mind. What do we have for Gemini, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides. Okay. Okay, so we have number 35, Spiritual Evolution, Set Your Heart Free. Set your heart free. I mean, this is about being open to every, to open to receive everything that comes your way. I mean, heart energy is joy energy. It can be love. It can be things that bring you joy. It's just being open and anticipating in a positive way everything that comes your way. It really is about looking at something very, very differently. And being led from the heart as well, you know? If, if you feel that you're, I mean, you are an air sign, so it can be to do with that mind or mental energy that can dominate you. Sometimes it can be about being led from the heart here. Interesting. What do we have for Gemini, please? Angel Spirits Guides. January 2021. So I'm going to pull three cards, Gemini. The first card is your issue or challenge that you need help from Spirit on. Second card is the advice from Spirit. And the third card is the outcome should you take the advice. And then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, Gemini. So just take what resonates with you. Okay. So what do we have for Gemini, please? What is the message from Spirit for Gemini? Thank you for January 2021. Too many wow there's so many energies in there's so much energy in your card deck at the moment feels like they all want to jump out <laughs> okay there we go we've got one eight of swords which is actually gemini energy gemini again knight of swords that is gemini that's you that's the advice from spirit and air energy again. The Ace of Swords. Wow. So swords are to do with the mind, our perspective, how we see something, also communication energies. Um, it's the mental energy and you can see it's completely dominating the top row. Let's see what else we get. What do we have for Gemini, please? Angels. Okay, thank you. Oh, the magician. Your ruler, very good sign there. Three of Wands clarifies the Knight of Swords. And the Queen of Cups clarifies the Ace of Swords. Bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Cups. So I'm going to clarify what this Eight of Swords is. What is this Eight of Swords for Gemini, please? What is this Eight of Swords for Gemini?
So we have the Ace of Cups. Gemini, it feels in this situation, I'm getting, it, it feels to do with more love, romance, relationships here. And there's an energy to stand your ground, to find your center, to find your foundation, your roots. You know, the energy of the tree is a, is a really good one. Not only does the tree contain wisdom, you know, and knowledge, it also talks about finding your foundation, surrounding yourself by people who give you foundation, who allow you to plant firm, solid roots deep into the earth so that when we have changes in our environment, in whatever aspect, we sway, we bend with the wind, but we don't break. You know, it's that kind of energy. So there is definitely an energy of stand resolute, stand firm, find your center here. Um because the the eight of swords and the eight of cups the eight of cups can be about you walking away from somebody then when it, them walking away from you it, it feels i mean this could have happened i mean you know timing is fluid with these readings it could have happened yesterday it could have happened a month ago it could have happened a year ago 10 years ago you know call it what you will but there is an inability with the, with the Eight of, of Swords to move forward, to be receptive to, to new opportunity, to expansion growth. <clears throat> and now you're being told with this Stand Your Ground is to, to embrace growth. It feels in this energy, Gemini, whatever this was, and it feels like this was a relationship, maybe that didn't work out. Uh, either you walked away from somebody or they walked away from you. And there's a feeling of being stuck ever since, not being, not being ready or willing or um, open to embrace new possibilities or just being stuck, you know, not knowing how to move on from this. It can be that kind of energy too. But the Eight of Swords is, is Jupiter in Gemini, the, the gift bringer, the, the card of good luck, good fortune, opportunity, expansion, growth. But in this energy, this person remains stuck because there is a, for whatever reason, they're not seeing the gifts, the opportunity, the expansion that wants to come into them. And now you're being told now is the time to do something about that by your ruler, which is Mercury, the magician. So you're being told now is the time to change this negative situation or this, this feeling of, of whatever happened in the past to something positive because the, the magician is now is the time for a new path to unfold. Now is the time for you to manifest. To He's, he's forward looking. He focuses on what he wants to change in his life and then has unwavering faith in his ability to make it happen. There is a message here in the challenge position Gemini that you are not tapping into the magic of who you are and there is an energy of there is such growth and availability to you here you need to set whatever this prison has been and it feels like a prison of the heart I have to say um, it feels now is the time to set your set it free to open up and that's what the magician, magician wants you to do he wants you to change something negative to positive an idea to reality base metal to gold he is the alchemist and now is the time for you to tap into your power, your resources, your talents, untapped resources, untapped talent, untapped magic here um, to tap into that, to use your magic to bring expansion, growth and good things into your life because it feels like the, the time is now. There's, there's something about the magician about timing for me as a reader. It's the time to manifest when he appears. The time is right for something to be magically created. You know, it's that kind of energy. And that's what you're being told. So you're being told, Gemini, this is you, the Knight of Swords, which can be about, you know, Knight of Swords can be about news, information, a conversation, um, can also be about swift change. Swift change is available to you, progress. Um, but it's also about going for something what you want now. The, the knight goes for something, you know, there's no distractions, nothing gets in his way with the knight of swords. He's a fast energy that once he has that clarity of mind in the direction he's going, there is just no stopping them, you know? And it's that kind of energy because when you do, and with the three of wands, you start manifesting, 
you know, a passion, a desire, what you want to really manifest now, there's something good coming your way. There's growth. This is that tree analogy as well. You can see the ones that have been planted into the earth and they're beginning to sprout. They're beginning to grow. There's the first signs of success coming your way. That could be in the form of something good coming your way as a result of the action that you're taking. Because the time is ripe. You know, the time is right for you to manifest this now. The energy of the Ace of Swords, it feels in this energy is set your heart free. When the Queen of Swords appears, I mean, it can, you know, this is a card of Cancer. We have a card of Pisces. I mean, you know, this could be from past relationships as well here. But what these cards are generally saying to you is that the Queen of Cups is somebody who has, who is saying that your heart is ready, your heart is ready to receive, to open up to new love, or to next level love, next stage love. I mean, you know, in whatever reading, you know, uh, it feels to do with new love for some of you. Um, because this Ace of Swords is, is a kind of liberate your heart now, you know, set it free, cut the cords from the past. Uh, because for some of you, there is opportunity, a new door, a new beginning opening up for you. So it feels very beautiful here. And this Queen of Cups is, is an energy of saying that you're ready. You're ready to receive something now. This is somebody who is emotionally balanced, emotionally stable. They have been through that period of recovery of either you walking away from somebody or a relationship not working out for whatever reason, then walking away from you, and the ability to move on for whatever time period this is. But now is the time to manifest because for some of you, you are ready to receive something good. And it feels in that kind of energy. I mean, the, the Queen of Cups is a caring, compassionate energy. Um, they're also nurturing energies as well. And it, it feels in this, this is the energy that you're being told now, Gemini, you're ready. There's an energy of you're ready. Something is ripe. Something is about to be manifested here. And the Knight of Cups is an offer of love. New love. You see, here's the interesting thing. You know, the Eight of Cups is turning your back on disappointment as well. I mean, this person turns their back on things for whatever reason haven't worked out. They, they've, gone, they've run their course uh, and now is the time to abandon them, move forward because there is that missing cup, the ninth cup. And obviously we know the nine of cups is getting your heart's desire, your hopes, dreams and wishes, being fulfilled on every level, happiness, joy, contentment. This is that ninth cup for you, Gemini, that you're being offered. The night is the offer, the opportunity, and this is to do with your heart. So for some of you, there is new love coming your way, most definitely. Um, and it feels very promising. So there's definitely this energy, and I love the energy of the, the Ace of Swords with the Queen of Cups, because there is, again, an, an energy of set your heart free, because you're ready to receive something here. And it feels that when you start taking action and doing something about it, and it, it feels in this situation, and whether you have been doing that before and things just haven't manifested, you know, it can be that kind of energy, but there's a feeling in this reading of somebody who hasn't quite moved on from the past. And a magician is saying, now is the time to tap into your magic of who you truly are, because something good is coming your way as a result of your actions, the actions that you take to man manifest this new path, resulting in the nine of, Knight of Cups. So I love the energy of this for that reason. Let's pull a final message here. Yeah, I love the energy, Gemini. I mean, this is beautiful. You know, when I see the snake, um, it's a card of shed an old skin. For me, it is a card of shed, your, shed the old skin of the past and allow that new to be revealed. It's a metamorphosis energy and it's also a transformational energy as well. So we have Kundalini rising, channel your creative passion and sensuality, welcome the transformation. Absolutely beautiful. I love this reading. 
So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Gemini. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.